So now we move on to the next chapter, which is mortgage backed securities. Now, what when you listen to mortgage backed securities, the first thing that needs to come to your mind is that it's nothing but a pass through security. So primarily, there's a bank. Now, when a bank gives a loan to anybody, it basically is an asset for the bank. So let's say the bank gives a loan of 100 rupees. So technically, it is an asset for the bank, right? So what the bank does it now this hundred has been given as a loan, but now even though it is an asset, the bank does not have cash. What the bank needs is to further op make operations like for create buying assets, etc. It needs some cash with it. Even though that hundred is an asset, it has given the loan and it ha uh, it needs to come back from the other person, right? So that is why what it needs is a cash. So what the bank does is the bank create a particular entity, which is called as an SPE or a special purpose entity or a VIE. So VI is variable interest entity or a SPV, a special purpose vehicle. Now, basically it is the bank that creates these kind of entities and what the bank does it, the bank says, all right, you can take this hundred and you can put it in your assets. So it transfer this loan that was generated primarily by the bank to the SPE. And now the SPE has a loan of hundred, which was initially started by the bank, but now it's on their sheet. So it is an asset for SPE and what SPE does it in for return of this, it basically gives the bank back hundred as cash so bank now has a hundred as cash over here so what happened is the bank initially started with hundred rupees loan that it had given to some of the individual customers now in order to gain cash and lay off that loan the bank transferred its loan to the special purpose entity and this transferring process is passing your security and hence it is called as a pass through security. So you're transferring your asset to the other asset in return for cash and hence it's called as a pass through security. Now what the SPE does is the SPE has certain investors. So let's say these are the three investors that are present. What the SPE does is the SPE collect about 33 rupees from each person and this hundred is what was transferred to the bank in return for this and what these investors here get the investors basically will get back the interest and principal payments from whoever has taken this loan initially from the bank so let's say this is an individual who had taken a hundred rupees loan so he had taken a loan of hundred from the bank now he is going to pay his interest plus the principal to the SPE and the SP is going to transfer those directly to these individual investors because these investors have initially provided their money to the SP, which was transferred to the bank as cash and take, they had taken a loan. So this is how a mortgage backed security primarily works. There's an asset that is created by the bank. Then it is transferred to the special purpose vehicles. There are external investors that invest into the SPE. So this is a liability. Why? Because this is sort of like a deposit. So basically these investors are depositing their money in SPE and the SPE will then transfer this cash to the bank in return for the loan. Now that loan was initially taken by an uh, other person for his personal issues, maybe for his residential purposes, for commercial purposes, whatever it is. And now he is going to pay the interest and principal payments every month. What the SP does is SP is going to give those back to these as a RFR. So the interest and payment that is paid by the individual who has taken the loan go as a RFR for their deposit in the SP. So like we get a deposit, this deposit is generated through here. And in this process, the SP basically charges some sort of a fee. It is already accommodated in this so that the SP can generate some fee and return the rest of the money to the investors. So this is what a mortgage backed security functions like.